welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. The types of videos that you might see from me could be some finance tips, maybe some personal vlogs, and maybe even some first time home owner slash home buyer tips. Today's video is part of a new series that I'm calling Piece of the Pie. And in this series, I'll be sharing things like budgets, debt trackers, money trackers, um, things of that nature. My goal here is to share easy to use tools that everyone can use to feel a sense of financial freedom and get their own piece of the pie. Now this week I took some time to create what I think is a very pretty and easy to use budget and I was kind of thinking back on how people might be budgeting and I remember a time when I didn't have a budget and we honestly were just flying by the seat of our own pants and hoping that we would have enough money at the end of the month for our rent. And I guess my goal is to create a budget that I wish I had back in the day. So here's a sneak preview of what the budget looks like. Now I created this budget on Google Sheets. Um, I typically like to use this because I can access it on my desktop or on my phone. If you have an iPad or a tablet of some sort, as long as you have a Google account, you can access this from any device. I could literally be doing my budget in my car on Friday after the end of the day right when I get my paycheck, or I could do it on a Saturday morning. Um, so you can really access it again from anywhere. Now the link for this particular budget is actually in the description below of this video. So feel free to click that, open it up in a new screen, and keep my YouTube video open on the side and you can actually go along with me. I, I don't feel like I should just give you a link. I wanna actually walk you through it. So. Um, Come on with me, I'll show you. Um, we are focusing, okay, we're focused. So welcome to my office. Basically the way that this specific budget works is every single paycheck, you're going to input the amount that you're receiving and essentially you're allocating every single dollar to specific funds. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so here's the budget, and the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to decrease the zoom to 75%. That way all of the columns, including this green one over here, fit into my view. You might have a bigger monitor, so you might not have to do that. Um, and basically all I have to do is scroll up and scroll down. Now on the link that I give you, it's not going to allow you to edit the budget for yourself. So what you'll need to do is follow this yellow highlighted directions. You're going to go to file and then you're going to make a copy and it will create a new copy and you can save it on your own Google Drive. Now let me just give you a lay of the land for this specific budget sheet. So up here at the top you have your income. That's your bi-weekly paycheck and at the bottom here these tabs it's actually the date that you're receiving that paycheck so we have may 1st may 15th may 29th now just a side note here if you're getting paid bi-weekly then you're going to have two paychecks every single year that are essentially extra so you don't need to put any of that paycheck toward bills and i'll go into detail a little bit later but for the month of May, you can see you actually receive three paychecks. Now, anything that's in black text is what you're going to customize for your personal budget. So for instance, this paycheck, you're going to input however much you're receiving. For these bills here, you're going to input your own bills. Maybe you don't have rent, so you can just delete that altogether. Or maybe you don't have to pay your phone bill. So you can get rid of that one. Maybe your medical, vision, and dental are already taken out of this paycheck. So maybe you don't need to budget for that. So you can delete that. Now what is this budget actually showing you? The formulas that are in here, it's basically taking your bi-weekly paycheck, subtracting the bills, necessities, 
debt, savings, and subtracting fund money, and that leaves you with zero. So you're going to allocate all of these funds until this number is zero. Now let me just stop telling you exactly how this works and let me just show you. I'm going to act like I'm some random person clicking on this link. I'm going to change it for my specific budget, my example budget, and I'll just show you how this works. Now my paycheck, for example, after taxes, after medical, dental, and vision, let's say is 1400 and let's say for rent, I actually pay 1100 For electric, I pay 25 Gas, I pay 35 Water, I pay 50 Internet, I pay 90 Phone, I pay 105 Emergency fund, I'm not going to allocate for that. For this example, Hulu, $17, Netflix, $13, my student loan, 200, bill number one might be $40, bill number two, I'm going to say uh, that's zero, so I'm actually going to delete that from my example. Spotify is another reoccurring expense, I'm gonna say that's $10. And I'm going to get rid of childcare just because I specifically don't need it. This total here is actually all of your monthly bills divided by two. So essentially you're taking two paychecks to pay for those monthly bills. Now this is why I say if you get three paychecks in one month, that's essentially one extra paycheck because you only technically are budgeting that you need two paychecks to pay for your monthly expenses. You don't have to worry about the formulas. All you have to do is edit the text that's in black. Do not touch the formulas. Everything's already laid out for you. Let's move on to necessities. So for me, that's groceries and gas for my car. Now groceries for me includes our Friday night sushi, our Sunday night pizza, all of the groceries that I need when I go to Ralph's, all of the paper goods, paper towels, cleaning things that I get from Target, and sometimes I throw in you know, an extra shirt for myself or an extra pair of pants for Tristan. So that's what I consider to be groceries. And the car gas is just that, just gas that I put in my car to go to work for two weeks. So for me, I budget around $300 every two weeks for my portion of the groceries. And again, my car gas is $90. So the sum here is $390. Next, we have biweekly debt. So I'm including credit cards as my debt here. Now, other debt could be things like student loans and things like that. But for me, student loans are actually a reoccurring expense and I consider it a bill. So what I'm including for my debt is actually specifically credit card. Now I would really hope that you don't have nine credit cards, but I just gave you enough space just in case you have other things that you want to consider debt. And one last topic on debts, I will be creating another video on how to get out of debt, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna give you a little tip. If you're trying to get out of debt, I would always recommend to pay the largest amount of money that you possibly can toward the lowest amount of credit card debt you, that you have, pay that one off, and then move on to the next one. Now next we have savings. You always, 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 always have to save something. Whether you can only afford to save $10 from this paycheck, so be it. Save something, put it in your budget. So I'm allocating $60 for savings and $60 for travel. Okay, so now here's the kind of fun part. We have our bi-weekly fun allocation. So I'm going to say for clothes, I wanna use $55. I have a gift that I need to buy somebody for a birthday, so I'm gonna say $40. And I'm gonna say just in case I, I need to go see the doctor, I have $20. Now here is the problem. We are left over with negative $118. That means that we can't afford this budget, so we need to go back and change something. 
I'm just gonna have to do it and tell myself I don't need clothes this paycheck. It can wait for two more weeks. So I'm gonna put zero. Now that leaves us with negative $63. So we're still $63 under. We have to find more funds. Now, maybe I don't really need $90 for two weeks. So, I mean, for example, if you're in quarantine, you really don't need much gas money. So I'm gonna bump this down to about $40. And that leaves us with negative $13. So we still need to come up with 13 more dollars. Now the last thing I wanna do is decrease the amount of savings that I'm inputting to this budget. However, I have kind of looked at everything and unfortunately the bills don't look like they're changeable and um, I could possibly, you know, decrease the groceries, but then I might end up overspending later on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bite the bullet and go to the savings and decrease the travel savings to about $40. As you can see, we have $8 left over now. So I can go ahead and put that $8 back to the travel savings. So that's kind of an example um, of somebody just using this for the first time. As you can see, there is actually a pie chart below, which is kind of stemming from the name of this series, which is Piece of the Pie. And you can see that the pie chart is actually color coordinated with all of the allocated categories. It looks like in this particular case, we're spending about 60% on bills 24.3% on necessities, which again is the groceries and gas in my case. We're spending 3.6% on debt, 7.7% on savings, and 4.3% on fun. So it looks like we're spending more on savings than fun money, and I would say that's kind of a win for right now. Uh, bills are kind of hard to change. You, you can cut back on things, maybe you don't need Spotify and maybe you don't need Hulu. So as you get more comfortable with this, you can kind of pick and choose what bills you need, what bills you don't need, and what kind of savings you can actually afford. So I've only given you three tabs at the bottom, one for May 1st, May 15th, and May 29th, but what's really nice about this is you can actually budget out your entire year and you can kind of plan out how you're going to allocate your funds for every single paycheck that comes in. And so how you do this is you're going to right click on the latest tab here at the bottom. You're gonna click duplicate and it is loading and thinking and you're gonna have your copy of May 29th. So you can actually double click on the writing right here and create your next paycheck which i believe is june 12th so this is your june 12th budget now i do realize that this is definitely a single income budget and it's a bi-weekly budget so it's a little bit specific if you have multiple incomes and maybe you have you know one person pays this bill one person pays that bill um, this might be a little bit too simplified for you but i think you could still make it work uh, my plan is to make more budgets like this, and if you wouldn't mind, just comment below what kind of budgets you would like to see. Uh, maybe you need help tracking your groceries better so you don't spend so much on groceries every week, or uh, maybe you need to know how to save for a wedding. But for now, this is the first video of this series. Again, the series is called Piece of the Pie. And I'm excited to do this for you. So let me know what you think and how you've used it. Uh, let me know if it's helping you. All right, so that's it for this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you on the next video. All right, have a good week. Bye.